How did you start brewing? Oh, it's a long story. You said you had a disease. I had a disease. I had a brain stroke 13 years ago, and I lost complete everything. Uh, my my business. I was not able to do my business anymore. And what was your business? Accountancy. I had an accountancy business, and also I lost a lot of my potential and also my my, my joy of life. Mm -hmm. And then my wife sent me on a holiday for a month to find myself again. And after 50 days, I saw a brewery for sale in Butte, Montana. In, in the mountains, in beautiful houses, the most, uh, most of them uh, were very beautiful. But I bought a brewery there and I was convinced it was a stressless life like a monk. A monk becomes 100 years and it was the only knowledge about beer brewing. I never drank beer before my 50th. Wow. So I started up, I came over, I bought it, I came with my brewery at home. And with a smile, like my wife asked me to come. But our smile was gone for quite a long time, starting a brewery without no knowledge. I started up with my Midris, my oldest son. First of all, the, the uh, farmer brewer, it seems a, a unique concept. It, uh, we were the only one in the world. So for five years, we've sold 95% to the US. So easy, so making all kinds of beer because we saw it what was happening in the US. And we also tried it with all kinds of wood. I bought cognac, grappa, sherry, madeira, port, muscatel, all kinds of whiskey, armagnac, cognac, all kinds of spirit barrels I bought and we put beer in it. And it was selling like nothing. But change, times changed. Uh, also we have a fire five years ago, so we lost a lot of money, but also time. And time was in a changing world from beer, so it was it was most the worst part of it, losing time. And uh, the American market changed, so we are now selling most of part of Europe, most Italy, Spain, Scandinavia, and also a little bit more in Belgium. And I brew with my kids together. It's a family business. Dries now in the beginning it was more brewery. But now he's a farm. He's, he runs a farmhouse, and Jeff is brewer now. Um, the farmhouse is, or um, makes us different with the others. We try to be the most ecological brewer in the world. That's our goal. Also, making the best beer in the world. But all my com my friends try to make the best beers, but nobody has a story we has. So Dries is farming barley, wheat, spelt, oat, uh, all the hops, eight types of hops. He, he also, everything grows on the farm. And now I think before the end of the year we have our own maltery. So we want to make a craft mal brewing maltery from, from, the, from the grain to the feet of the cattle. So the circle must complete round. And then we can survive because we are no businessmen. We are we are farmers in mind and for brewer you need to be more businessman, marketing man as 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 a brewer himself. And there lies us problem. We we try to make very honest good beers, craft beers, and you need to sell them. And it's not easy, especially in Belgium it's not easy because all the big breweries now again is they saw the concept of craft brewing and they're all craft brewers now. They make craft beer in an industrial environment. We are not able to make two times the same the same the same beer because working in a craft beer in a brewery it's always something different. The temperature is is the the, the barley we use, every beer is different. But when it's good, who cares? When the color is a bit different, or, or, or who cares? When the beer is good, but in an industrial beer, it's always the same. Like a McDonald's. The McDonald's all over the world is the same. But the Duvel or the Lafchouf or all those stuffs, they are no craft. They are industrial beers with the name of craft beer. And that's, that's a Belgian story, perhaps. So, so they, they, they kidnapped 
the name of craft making industrial beer and they are all yeah they're making our life not easy selling beer is the most difficult part and still I'm convinced people more and more start tasting beer now we drink beer it's so Belgian Belgian culture we drink beer and we taste wine but I'm convinced it will change in Germany the same we are so we are so so uh, I'll tell you Germans more than conservative Germans mo probably far more conservative than we do but then we are Belgians we don't change anything easily so we are still drinking cheap beer on huge quantity and then we try to make expensive beers which, which you have to taste like a bottle of wine one bottle and four glasses and you cheer with friends and this is still uncommon in Belgium but it will come I'm sure it will come it's in Italy when you see how it's exploding in Italy craft beer in Spain in, in, and still in Belgium we are struggling with, with, with our idea that beer must be served in a huge glass and, and my beer only if it's for me and, and, but it will change and, and very fast I'm believing it and uh, I guess you are known among smaller breweries for helping them come up in the world of craft beer and they come and brew with you and you're seen as an open, very open person, not guarding your secrets. And craft I've, beer I've was, was other brewers. craft it's, beer is sharing each other's ideas. It's an open world. It's, it's winery, it's, it's a world in... in, in, in Everybody is, 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 is competition next to each other because there is too much wine. And in craft beer, in special craft beer, there is still a lot to grow. So we don't normally have no competition, but we have colleagues. And so I don't believe in concurrence, I believe in colleagues. And that's one of the reasons of this festival. We going. start with 15 colleagues. I, I'm very interested about the beers. And at the end of the festival, I have 15, 50 new friends that we have. We are friends that we can share what we know, that we can share our ideas, and and that's all. 50 percent of the part of the of the reason of this business, of this festival, sharing what we know and become friends. And and it's so important to have friends. Also, in the f seeing five years time, the same people who come help, so can visit the festival. That gives a lot of courage. It's not about the money because we are brewers. We are not not need to have a festival. So we are hope we give so much to brewers to, that we are fifth, that it's an equal balance that we don't lose money and that we don't win money. But we try to 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 show Belgian people that there is a lot of difference in beer, and then they gave the brewers the best weekend they have because normally working on a festival is quite a hard job it's it's weekend for almost everybody and we try to 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 to, to give a comfortable and a, a nice weekend to the brewers we are, most of the time we are together from friday to sunday evening we eat together we we, we visit leuven together we have a discussion with a professor in leuven so that we can learn from each other and and that's our most important goal. Yeah. And lastly, with craft uh, brewing, what does the word innovation mean anymore? There's so much innovation that it's... What's so yeah. special about the word innovation? What does it mean to you? There's so much to do. And you can do 100,000 things with beer. With wine you have your grapes, your race of grapes and your wood. Someone tells about terroir and that's it. But with... with with making beer you can all kinds of, of barley of, of, of grains or you can roast it not roast it your hundred types of hops there's a lot of herbs there's a lot of wood you can use but still you can make some good balanced beer with special products you c there is a lot what, what's innovation every not every new beer is for us an even innovation beer they need a balance in, in it they need a, a good quality and drinkability. So we try to find brewers who, who try to look for new kinds of beer, new, new types of beer, but who are drinkable. 
that you can easy drink one or two next to each other and not you can put an old shoe in in a beer and then you have a, 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 a probably a new you should have a new beer but will it be better but uh, so there's still a lot of room left for innovation in the beer world. I, i'm convinced yeah yeah